we will study the SR latch, which is the basic unit of memory. In the previous video, we looked at sequential logic and how the state diagram is used to examine a sequential circuit. We will now apply this to the SR latch. In the NOR implementation, simultaneous feedback is made for each of the two NOR gates. It is also possible to perform NAND implementation having the same configuration. The state diagram is obtained by applying the logic of each NOR gate in turn. In this complete state diagram, all possible combinations of inputs will be arrayed as rows, and all possible combination of outputs will be arrayed as columns. Both are arranged using a gray code ordering with wraparound adjacency. We first determine all the output transitions imposed by the first NOR gate, and then by the second NOR gate. We then identify all stable states and all race conditions present among the states. We now analyze the function of the circuit by examining each input state or row. In this analysis, we will consider x as the primary output and only at the end, y in its relation to x. For the r equal 1, s equal 0 input state, the primary output x is forced to 0. This is therefore the output reset function. The R equals 0, S equal 1 input state forces the primary output X to 1. This is therefore the output set function. We now examine the R equals 0, S equals 0 input state. There are two stable states in this row. Since we exclude race conditions from the ordinary operation of this latch, these states can only be obtained by a change of one of the inputs from one of the other stable states. In the first case shown, the R equals 0, S equals 0 input state transits from the set stable state. Changing the two inputs to 0 does not change the primary output X. The retention of the output state when the input is changed is called a hold. This is essentially a 1-bit memory function. The ensuing R equals 0, S equals 0, X equals 1 state can thus be called a hold following set. Alternatively, the R equals 0, S equals 0 input state can transit from the reset stable state. In this case, the output x equals 0 does not change. Therefore, the operation can be called a hold following reset. Overall, therefore, the R equals 0, S equals 0 input state performs the hold or basic memory function. We say that this function causes the circuit to latch the present value of x. The output will not change until there is a further change in the inputs. The final R equal 1, S equal 1 input state is not considered part of the normal operation of the latch. In the function table for this latch, we see that the R equal 0, S equal 1 input state sets the primary output x equal to 1 whereas the R equal 1, S equal 0 input state resets the primary output x to 0. The R equal 0, S equal 0 input state holds or latches the previous output. This is the basis of the memory function of the latch. The R equal 1, S equal 1 input state is not used. Two final notes. First, in normal operation, both values, that is 0 and 1, of the primary output x are possible to achieve as stable states. 
For this reason, the SR latch is called a bistable memory device. Second, in the ordinary operation of the latch, Y is the inverse of X in both stable states. For this reason, the X and Y outputs are often renamed Q and Q bar.